to Tejaswini's tarot and this week's energy guidance. So now we have entered the equinox, the time of autumn in the northern hemisphere when the sun moves from Virgo to Libra and this is a time when everything in the universe is seeking balance. The cycle has turned and everything seeks balance. The light, the dark, the yin, yang, masculine, feminine, spiritual needs, material needs, everything is trying to reset itself for a balance. So the card which I have picked out today is also in a way speaking of this balance and this is the seven of rainbows or seven of pentacles in the traditional tarot and it shows a lady here i i don't remember i i think i have picked this card earlier so we can see here a lady who is waiting for her child to be born and there is she's waiting and she's in a state of passive uh, waiting and you can see the cycles of the moon and there's nothing left for her but to wait and she looks very contented there is no anxiety around her she is completely in tune with the rhythms of the moon very passively uh, allowing nature to take its course Something which is happening today cosmically where the cycle has turned and something as if something momentous, it looks like something momentous is going to come out. Something is birthing, something is, uh, uh, so a, a time of mystery when it's like Osho says that this is the period when it's like just before the dawn. That's that period before the first light strikes us. And he says there is so much beauty in waiting like this lady. But we have lost this ability to wait and let things happen and let things stay there. Let nature take its course. And what we are... Perhaps may we may be birthing something which is at this time of the year, the equinox, when everything is seeking balance, we can be birthing our own self, looking into our own self. Our authentic being is probably taking birth. So this is a card which tells us, wait, let things happen on their own let the results of the efforts which you have put in over maybe the last few months or some time in the past let it ripen let it fructify wait it tells you to wait and there is a beauty in this waiting the card also tells you that tells all of us that Take a long-term perspective at things, not simply short-term, not looking at short-term gains. Look at areas in your life where you need to cultivate this kind of a long-term course of action, where you can get sustainable long-term results. It's time that we get up from areas which are maybe in the short run they are doing something for us but they are sapping our energy more and not allowing us to concentrate on our long term course of action or a long term strategy so it's a time to focus on your long term and yes the card says wait you will get the payoff for all your hard work the results of all your labor, all the efforts that have been put in the past will be demonstrated before you. There may be delays in the moment, 
right now maybe you are not getting your right rewards you're feeling frustrated the card is showing that that maybe you are impatient at the moment but time to wait and think of the long term and also review things recalibrate things to the necessary adjustments or resettings which may be required in your life and have a system in place and set up your priorities two things one at a time look at the long term and uh, the equinox this time when the cycle turns this is where again the energies of balance come to play where everything seeks balance and this is the time when we should focus on expanding this energy of balance it's like we are turning around we're going on a road and then we are turning around a corner and it's like it's it's we are going turning and we have to keep our balance so it's 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 like a, it's a leap into a new consciousness and when we are turning we might be getting the the disequilibrium may happen and maybe hurt old wounds something may surface in us but then is the time to keep this balance to seek this balance number 7 which is the number of this card is also a number of introspection intuition going in so we seek our balance by going in looking into various aspects of our life which need resetting and then how we can recalibrate it for moving forward and this is something once again now tejaswini is flowing into this energy of balance and uh something which the equinox has brought for us and the next workshop of tejaswini is about seeking this balance within us looking inside where our energies are blocked tapping into this energy looking into ourselves looking into our energy center so this is a workshop on chakra healing where we look into our subtle energy centers these energy centers are the points which draw in the energy from the cosmos and in this workshop we'll be learning how to tune into this universal energy it's already there it's already moving to us it's just that may we may not be tuned into that energy appropriately and so it is causing certain disruptions in our life so how to go about it how to unblock this creative potential which all of us are carrying and which is abundant in this universe the universe is ready to give give it to us only we have to receive we have to tune in and receive so this workshop which is a uh, Uh, on whatsapp and it will be a 7 day program from 6th october to 12th october you precisely learn to do this so uh for joining this workshop you need to you can join a group which is uh, i have given the link of this group in uh, this in the post attached to this video and you can click on that link join that group and will be updated about what is coming for you and you you can participate in this uh, this beautiful self transformational inner work and which is which can actually has the potential to to raise our energies for things that we have not been able to do so far so enjoy this equinox this the energies of balance which are coming in and telling us to balance our lives and balance our energy centers and recalibrate and reset
our life for our highest good. So, enjoying this workshop on chakra healing, which is going to start from 6th October. Seven days, one day, one chakra intensive workout. So, goodbye and see you again.